everybody, this is Chad from CBW Farms, and welcome back to Griffin, Indiana. We are on episode number seven today, and just trying to catch a few things up here with some contracts and stuff like that, but as you just seen, I was just walking around the shed, I'm missing a tractor. I don't remember taking one off the mod hub for any reason, but I was wondering how that fertilizer spreader got put there that way. Huh. It's baffling me. Like I said, I don't know. Usually if you update something, it don't make you re-put it in, I guess. You know, in into your mods. But I'm not sure what happened there. I was kind of thinking of doing some fertilizing here in a little while. and We're kind of down on tractors at the moment. Well, we need some seed in this one first. Don't take long to fill up. $158. Not too shabby. Alright. And I think we're heading... Okay, we got it set on corn. That's what we want to be on. I think we are heading to field number 16, if I remember right. Or I hope I am remembering that correctly. Because that's where we're going. So yeah, today we get to try out our new planter. Finally. And the temperature's pushing warm enough now for planting corn. But uh, we haven't done our field, field number one yet, I guess. So I don't know if we'll get to that today. It's already 3.40 in the afternoon here on game time. And as you can see, we just did our last fertilizing contract. That's the last one that was available. Hopefully nobody's coming here. Excuse me. Yeah, we'll head over. I know Field 16's over here somewhere. We're heading the right general direction anyway. Well, hopefully everybody's having a good day. I know I'm having a good day here. Getting a few videos done finally again. I apologize for my absence here for a while. Like I said, it's just been a little bit busy, I guess. And... Yeah, just trying to catch up a little bit now again, and uh, like I said, got a few more episodes done on uh, Six Ashes, and got the top six medium tractors mod video out. Uh, got that released today, that I'm recording this. I don't know if I'll release this one yet, the day I'm recording. This, this takes a while with seasons on here. All right. There were so many contracts you have to do to fill in time. And so yeah, it's not real easy to, to keep up, I guess. Let me look at that again. Yeah, that's 16 right there. 
Watching the row units all go down there. Very good. Looks like we did get the 16 row version. I was thinking I got only the 12 row version of this. Still waiting for the 24 row version to come out. Alright. Let's get set up here. And then we gotta go to, into our menu. We got field 6 completed. Oh, it pays pretty good here too. Field 16 sowing of corn. We will accept that contract. All right. Turn on the vacuum here. And double tap. And away we go. Our very first field on Griffin, Indiana using our 2150 Case International Early Riser Planner. Again here, you can see that I uh, did my double tap there, my left bumper and double tap X, and that gave me uh, able to fast farm this. I guess that I, I wouldn't do this, but being as we're just doing contracts anyway, and we're just killing time, I thought I might as well make this a little faster and a little more interesting. So I think I will continue on with this and I think we'll go into a speedy here. I'll catch you soon. <laughs> finished up with this contract on field 16 here. Hopefully I didn't bore you too much with the music and, and the back and forth there I guess. And if you notice my erratic driving, I've been having a fly landing on my arm or in my face I guess. So yeah, I've been kind of concentrating on that, that stupid fly trying to get him off of me I guess. But it's all good though. Gotta be getting close to the end of this contract. There we go. And we had 4% of our seed left as yet. Don't do this at home, kids. You're never supposed to drive while well, folding the planter. But we're trying to keep things moving here. Our next step is to head back to the farm. And we'll have to refill up the cedar again. And we'll see what our next mission is going to be. Got quite a few fields we can plant. There's probably going to be more missions coming up here pretty soon, I would think. Especially with the ground temperature warming up to 48 degrees now. And, and the air temperature is at 63 degrees. So, so things are warming nicely. Like I say, we'll, we'll see what, what field we do next anyway. I can do this without hitting that mailbox. The signs I'm not worried about. The signs will fall apart. Or fall down. But the mailboxes are pretty pretty sturdy. And we'll send you flying. Ask Farmer Cop. He knows that well. He's hit plenty of them on this map. Uh, I need to turn my sensitivity down a little bit on my uh, steering. Seems awful fast. And no, I don't use a steering wheel. 
I use the PlayStation 4 controller on PlayStation 4, of course. And we hit something. We hit a light pole. They don't move either, apparently. Crash counter plus one. All right. Head back to our Martha Stewart refill silo here. And we'll see where we're going to go from there. We might just go ahead and... I'm going to check the, the menu here right away after we get loaded up and see what we're at for a window, if we can plant corn in our field or not yet. Open up the covers there. Yep, the tanks are just about empty there. You can see the bottom of them pretty well. All right, cost it us $151 to do that field. We'll see where we're going next here. menu and collect her $16,001. I don't know where that number came from, but we'll take it, I guess. Um, potatoes, no. Canola. We could do field three with sunflowers. Field seven with sugar beet. Field 32 with sunflowers. Field 2 with sugar beet. Oh, and then we got Barnway there. Alright. Okay. Well, <clears throat> it looks like we're not warm enough to really be doing corn yet. So I think we're going to hold off. Gosh, I hate to hold off for another day. I'm thinking. <laughs> and my other crop I would consider planting would possibly be soybeans. Not that we get a lot off that little field, but and that we'd also have to wait on. So I guess we go back and we'll look at our contracts again. Farm dog Jim just came back in here and chewing on his cup again. Um, potato, canola. Three. Three, seven, thirty-two. That's, oop, that's not what I wanted to do. All right. There's field three. Um, field seven. And 32. They're all kind of close. Well, let's start with this little guy first. We'll go to field 32. And we'll get him taken care of a minute. Yep, now we're at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So we're racing against daylight right now. Or darkness, I should say. But All right, field 32 is on our right here. Normally when you unfold these planters, 
when you push your button on your you got a monitor that's just for that if it's like the John Deere you actually the wheels will go down first those wing wheels right here uh, right there they would actually go down first and which would raise the the toolbar then you'd put your three-point hitch on the tractor down just a little bit because you can see how it hooks on that main tube right underneath those markers right here so like I said you'll lower those those wheels when you flip a switch basically and then you lower your three-point and then it'll swing out and you keep your tractor in neutral so that way the tractor can move just a little bit with the planter that will move it I mean I don't know why they raise and lower those press wheels on here those gauge wheels but no biggie see those wheels went down see it lifted and you put down the three point like I said in real life that tractor would be rolling just a little bit just to keep pressure off that bar so no they did a very good job when they when they made this mod. Alright, sunflowers. That's what I was wondering. Alright. Thinking I didn't have access to this ground. This little field won't take us long. Well, again, like I said, I've been mentioning in my last videos about getting the GoPro. Uh, I've been watching more and more videos all the time here uh, and trying to keep up with you guys too on, on some of your videos to releasing and I see I have a bunch to catch up on with yet. Uh, Cobbler Farms, I really need to get you and Snowy. I haven't gotten any watched here for a while, so I do apologize, guys. I, I will get to you. And like I said, I won't get everything caught up, but I want to get kind of current. Or I know Cobbler had that one, one little series he's starting. I can't remember the name of that really, really, really tiny map, but it's kind of been an interesting survival series, I guess. So yeah, I'd like to get back on that one. And you guys go check them guys out too. Like I said, Farms Him Snowy. And uh, Cobbler Farms. I mean, there's plenty of other ones I'm gonna, I could throw out there too. But those are the two that I've kind of neglected here. Not intentionally by any means, gentlemen. What ain't been helping, oh, that's what I was going to talk about, was the GoPro that my son got me and my viewers helped with also. But, um, yeah, I've been watching a lot of videos on how to use it. And basically, so far, I've been watching hours upon hours of videos how to just use the camera itself in different settings and everything. I still haven't even taken the darn thing out of the box yet. Still brand new. Brand new in the box, but I did get the the charger that the Tyler had gotten for me I got that opened up and that came with one battery and then he sent me two additional batteries so I, I had four batteries in total so now I got two of those batteries two of the four batteries are fully charged they're sitting right by the computer here in the office so now I can get the other two batteries put in and get them charged up but then you got a bunch of setting up you need to do on the camera also. I mean, when you first get it, you got to basically hook it into your smartphone or there's an app on your smartphone and then they'll try to recognize each other through Bluetooth and then you'll update the system software. There we go. So yeah, you got to kind of do all that and then figure out what resolution you're recording in and I think I got a good idea of how I'm going to do it. I mean you can record in 5k if you want to. It won't give you quite as much time to record but 
but I don't know. I might go 4K, and uh, I think that would be about 30 frames per second. And with my card, I'm thinking that would give me a couple hours worth of recording time, maybe two and a half hours. Which, like I said, it's not going to be all recorded at once. But then my next thing is, is, I mean, I'm not even so scared about recording the videos so much and get everything set up that way. I'm, I'm still the most nervous about uh, editing. I don't have any clue of what software that a person uses on, you know, on Windows 10. You know, I hear of DaVinci and that, but then some people don't like DaVinci that well. And I'm so used to Share Factory on PlayStation that, uh, you know, it, it's easy to use. And I mean, it's pretty simple. I mean, it's nothing drastic by any means or whatever, but nothing fancy, I guess, either. But but we're able to put videos out, I guess, and I wish I could just do it on the on the PlayStation, but unfortunately there's so many megabyte download that, yeah, you'd have to decompress files, and I have no idea how to do any of that kind of stuff. And I think some of it will kind of go together when you're, uh, when you plug into your PC. I think something will pop up that it's recognized the device. Again, I should just do some recording around the farm here where I live and just, yeah, just do a very short video. I'd like to do at least, you know, two little clips, two, three clips and and see what it's like to, to merge them together, I guess. And I'm not sure how to do thumbnails on a PC either. So yeah, I definitely have a lot of learning to do, and, and but the work is going to be starting here pretty soon too, so... Yeah, let's hope for the best, I guess. Alright, we'll head down to field two here. Start unfolding, which like I said, don't do this at home, kids. This is very non-kosher. Or you'd really bend stuff up pretty good. Well, that's unfolding. We'll collect on that. I'd really like to do that fertilizing on field 9 also. Oh boy, sugar beets. Okay, we'll accept that is the wrong field. I meant to do field two, which is also sugar beets. Now we gotta fold all back up again. I sure make a lot of mistakes here. Alright. These little wheels can fold up on their own. I think Field 7's a little one right across from us there. Kind of looking like it. Looking at my map there on the left, yep. I guess I could have left it un or left it, yeah, unfolded. This field won't take us long either. Sugar beet, there we go. gonna seed this field and I am just gonna plant this field and plant uh, field number two with its sugar beets too pending that I get the right field again then I think we're caught up with the planter then we gotta head back with the seeder again but uh, yeah I'll kind of get these jobs done here off camera I guess and I will see you shortly here 
All right, everybody. I finished uh, planting a few fields on the contracts there. I did field two and field three and field 31. So I got all the contracts at the moment for planting are done. Uh, I got about three or four seeding contracts we can do yet. But being the farmers that we are, and that we've had a couple corn planting contracts, even though it's a little cool for it yet, we're going to give it a try. We're going to plant our own field in corn here. I better get switched over to corn, not cotton. Unfold the planter. Figured we might as well do some of our own work in, on this game day anyway yet. Like I said, I apologize. I know the seasons make it kind of kind of tough for content anyway. All you'd be seeing is the same things over and over and I really don't have much for livestock but I don't have any livestock feed and I don't want to buy it all I guess either. Yeah. So we're just doing what we can. You can see the money's kind of coming up. After all those contracts we're at just about $245,000. Not quite there I guess. But that shouldn't take too much here to plant this field. We'll get some headlands put on here. And away we go. Not an overly big field, I guess, either. Unfortunately, it's our only field that we have, other than our big grass area. So I'm hoping that we can buy, buy at least another field or two for this season anyway. But unfortunately, ever since I did my PS4 update here, oh... Today is Monday that I'm recording the second part of this video, or Tuesday, I'm sorry. And, um, yeah, last Friday I updated the PS4 at an update, and somehow I lost whatever that Maxim little tractor is that I had. It's not on my farm anymore, and I don't even see it in my mods folder. Or I haven't gone to the mod hub to, I, I can't even remember exactly which one it was, but... So yeah, I'm going to have to jump out of the game and look for that, because I, I, I like that little tractor for fertilizing. But the bad part is, now i got to spend the money to do it, so I don't know. I've considered looking at Mod Hub, see what that tractor was. I might even have to go back on one of my past episodes to make sure which one it is for sure, because I don't quite remember. <coughs> Excuse me. But, uh, yeah, see if I can find what tractor it was re-download it and resubmit it to the game here and I may put a government subsidy sign down for one hour which would give me hundred and fifty thousand dollars I think that's what it does I don't I might be wrong on a normal economy it might only be a hundred thousand which would be okay because I, I don't think that tractor was, was it's kind of around a hundred thousand dollar area but but again I don't remember it's been quite a while back since since I purchased that tractor so yeah, I'm going to have to jump out of the game here, and, but hopefully I'll have that straightened up for us by next episode anyway. I'm not going to have a lot more on this episode. I know it's a little bit shorter. We're probably only looking at about a half an hour or so on this video, but, but like I said, it's just a lot of contracts, and, and basically after I get done planting our corn here, I would uh, like to bring the, the planter back to our main yard and park it. I might park it outside just in case we get some rain. It'll wash it off a little bit before we need it again. But, but yeah, we'll wash it up definitely before we put it back in the shed. But I guess I'd like to see that we're done with it first. And plus, I'm kind of thinking about there's a couple cotton contracts out there. But they're so hard to do. You almost got to make 5,000 liter bales and haul them one at a time to the, to the wool and cotton sell point and hope that you have enough of your percentage done that you get at least one, maybe two of those 5,000 liter bales. You say you don't want to make 20,000 liter bales because you only, might only end up with one and a half of them and it might not be enough to complete the contract. So, yeah, there's that. Or I, I'd even considered if I had enough money here to, to field flip it. But there too, the cotton harvesters are so cotton picking. <laughs> Pardon the pun there. Cotton picking expensive to even lease. Then you got to lease a, a bale trailer also that can load the cotton bales, but, or preferable. I don't have a big loader or anything like that. I know we can get great big bale spikes for cotton bales with the 
with the John Deere DLC. I know they came with that, but but I really don't have anything heavy enough for that. And that, I don't think it costs very much to, to lease a trailer anyway. But yeah, so I'm... Oh, somebody must be here. Apparently, farm dog Jim and Chelsea, our chihuahua, saw their shadow. I don't know what they were barking at, but that whole time that it was quiet here on the game, it sure was not quiet in my office here. I should have kept them locked out of here, or, but I thought maybe, maybe for once they would behave, but yeah, puppies nowadays. I shouldn't call Chelsea a puppy, but... She's about, I don't know, 14 years old, I suppose. But but Jim is definitely a puppy yet. And he can't get it out of his head, whatever it was he was barking at. But now I forgot all about what I was talking. Oh, cotton, that's what I was talking about. So, yeah, I, I really don't know. I Like I said, by the time I'd buy those fields or accept the contract, then all of a sudden the cotton would disappear, I'm afraid of, too. So I de got, definitely guess if I would flip the field i would definitely flip it before i get the cotton harvester just to make sure that it that it actually stays it, you know it's hard to believe with seasons but i don't know i haven't decided i'd just like to do something with the darn fields so i can convert them to something different i mean i know they're not going to get any cotton planting uh contracts or i wouldn't hope we would because on this geo there's not supposed to be cotton but and I, I am using the Geo from Griffin, Indiana. So, and again, we're using three-day seasons just to kind of move it along a little bit here. Normally, I play on six-day seasons, but boy, that that would really get boring to watch. And then all of a sudden, I'd have all the contracts filled out and and nothing to do, I guess. And you notice I am not lifting up on the ends here, but I can't do it that I, you know, did my. L1 and my X double tap to do my fast farming. You'd have to reset it every time. So There. Our corn is planted. Let's check it out. Oh, we're going to have to fertilize this too. We'll let that fold up while we're looking. Okay, we were fallow, fallow, so it didn't matter what we planted in here. So yeah, we're going to have to fertilize this field. I kind of forget sometimes that we're doing precision farming, too. The one thing I'm not hepped up on about the precision farming is when when it comes to some uh, contracts for harvesting, they're usually not very good paying. I mean, we'll usually get enough grain to cover the, you know, cover the contract and get a little left over, but nothing near like what you do without precision farming. Being the field's 
yields are not going to be at 100 percent things that are not you know they haven't been soil sampled or anything with the other farmers so yeah you kind of go through the same amount of work but get paid a lot less all right so again there too for the next episode i'll try to get that tractor repurchased or another similar similar one anyway We'll get her figured out. Park this out of the way here. And I need to go find our cedar. And then we're going to go, or I'm going to go off screen and I'll finish the seeding contracts that pop up and get a little bit more money here. Like I say, we're kind of limited on what we can do for jobs. I mean, we can always do logging if we had to, but I kind of hate to do that in the spring of the year when prices aren't very good for anything. And we can get the tree devourer and uh, always use that too, I guess. See if my yellow dot pops up here for where the cedar is. I I believe it's long field 13 or something down by that ball diamond. Do a little in cab here. So yeah, I think we'll cut this episode a little bit shorter, so I do apologize. And I, and I really apologize for the, the lag in between episodes here. I know I've kind of favored Six Ashes just a little bit more because it's kind of been progressing a little bit faster on that one, but but we'll we'll keep up on on Six or on Griffin, Indiana here as well, and we'll we'll get quite a ways through this before Farm Sim 22 comes out, hopefully. Like I said earlier, I know we're going to be getting in the field ourselves here, maybe by the end of this week, so things are going to get hectic. So I, I tried to get just a few more videos out about now, and and again you know to all my subscribers or to anybody that wants to watch these videos like i say you definitely don't have to hurry to watch them you know and even don't have to to watch them in one sitting or anything like that because it will take me a while to get some more videos out i, I do hope to get some real life videos out just uh you know show show you what we're doing on the farm and like i said they're not going to be the highest quality i'm afraid here you know for the first while and you know, maybe this winter I, I can play a little bit more with editing tools on the PC and, and get them a little more professional looking, I guess. Um, let's see, field six. That's a pretty good paying contract there for wheat. I don't remember where field six is. On. Oh, okay, that's close to home there. I think we'll take that one. Go back out of there. Switch over to wheat on our bottom of the screen green here yeah we don't have much seed left but we'll we'll be close to our our seed fill point anyway so yeah I'll kind of crack on with that contract and and cover a few others and uh, that way that'll give us a few more uh, fertilizing contracts too which always pay out really well and like I say not that they do I don't know if they do any good on precision farming but we'll take the money wherever we can get it Yeah, like I said, I know there wasn't a lot of variety in this episode, but I do hope you guys enjoyed it. And we're trying to do what we can, and and if you have any suggestions of, you know, any anything more that make this a little more interesting, please feel free to leave them in the comments, and and feel free to comment about anything. I always love reading what you guys post on there, and, and chatting with you guys a little bit that way too, I guess. And so yeah, please feel free to leave a comment. And, if you liked the video, hit the like button. And like Jels the Farmer would say, if you disliked it, hit the dislike twice. But <laughs> it don't really matter. So, no, I do want to thank all my subscribers and welcome any new subscribers that we've been getting. We've been getting a few here lately again. So I appreciate each and every one of you. And you're considered part of my family. So my Farm Sim family. Turn this one on. I don't have access to... Oh, really? Oh, there we go. It's just the trigger of the field must have been a little bit different there, I guess. But at any rate, we'll, I'll run this out of seed, and then we'll run and I'll run and go grab some more seed anyway. And, and I think we'll kind of leave it at there. So again, feel free to comment. Hopefully you like, that, like the video and hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet and like what you see, please consider subscribing and, and make sure you hit that bell so you do get notifications when I 
when I do post videos, and, and like I say, I, on my real life videos that I'll be putting out, I ten, I will be tending to be kind of explaining how we do things in a farm sim fashion. So I mean, it's not going to be quite like Larson Farms or or anything like that, where, where just anybody wants to watch, and I hope anybody watches too, because I mean, boy, I, I love everybody to watch every video, but uh, but like I said, I'll try to explain a little bit of what we're doing in terms of farming simulator on there. I mean, let's hope the microphone works good on the GoPro, and, and that, so like I said, I hope I can get some at least interesting videos out for you. I mean, I'm sure you guys are going to see mistakes that we make, and so I'm not going to be overly editing everything out or anything like that. So, like I said, they're, they're probably only going to be 10, 15 minute videos. But, like I say, I'll, I'll see how many I can get put out this fall. And, and hopefully keep it kind of interesting for you guys. And Yeah, like I said, give a little bit of a equipment tour of a lot of the stuff we have. I mean, it's all not going to be on one or two episodes. You know, our spring stuff might be more towards the spring and fall stuff. will be closer to now, but... No, with that being said, I think I will leave it at here, and, and like I said, I appreciate each, each and every one of you, and and I hope to see you guys again soon, and and please take care of yourselves, and you all have a, a safe fall as well, and we'll see you later. Bye now.